Three in a row, left-handed, baby. Come on, let me see you boys do this. Four. College basketball analyst Debbie Antonelli is in an unfamiliar place. I mean, yeah, she's shooting hoops in her own driveway, but it's March. She would not be here under normal circumstances. I wouldn't be sitting in the sun in beautiful <laughs> Charleston, South Carolina. I know that. I wouldn't have a chance to, to visit with you guys. Uh, I would be um, on my way uh, to the women's regional. I was penciled in for Portland on the women's side, which would have meant that, uh, based on bracketology, would have been Oregon. Uh, on the women's side, Sabrina Ionescu is the Zion Williamson of women's basketball this year and a uh, household name. I uh, would have had a chance to cover her um, opportunity to go to the Final Four along with uh, what was UConn penciled out there as well. Basketball is Antonelli's life. She played, she calls games, she coaches her sons. He always catches the ball. He never puts it above his head. See how he steps back and opens his hips so he can, he can read the defense. Even while understanding the reason why there's no March Madness, it doesn't take away the hurt. Devastated, upset, highly disappointed. For 37 straight years, I've had March Madness uh, as a player and um, as a broadcaster. Uh, you know, it was just, it was hard to get past it. I felt terrible for all the seniors that didn't get a chance to have this experience. I, I mean, I've had it, and it's wonderful. Um, but um, it's still hard to accept that we didn't get to have the March Madness that we all pinpoint to. As sports fans, we all miss March Madness. It's been hard for some to put into words just why we miss it so much. Don't worry, Debbie Antonelli has the words for you. One of the things that I love about March Madness is that moment in time where somebody does something phenomenal that we all remember and mimic in our driveway. For me, last year, I got to cover John Morant's triple-double, and I was in Hartford, and um, that was phenomenal. When you go back and watch it, thinking that no one had ever done that. that those moments that we will miss of this year's tournament, th that's what that I really am disappointed about, especially there was so much parity in our game on the men's and the women's side. Now, the women's side, there were four teams that, maybe five, that really had a chance to win. On the guys' side, there were a lot more. And there were a lot more Cinderella opportunities. Those are all great, wonderful memories, and I hate that we missed out on that this year. That's your look at sports. I'm Brianne Welch.